school uniform, there's my bra. Took my shoes off, just left them there. That's my realistic bedroom, when you guys don't see it behind the camera. But that's what it looks like. So I actually got pulled out of lesson and I thought, oh my gosh, I've done something wrong. What, what's gone on? Oh, it's so cold. And I cut it out into butterfly shapes. And then I put this under a hot press. It's about the abortion in America and then the suffragette movement. And we're gonna link them two together. Whereas like women's rights in the olden days were like not taken seriously. And now they're taking women's rights away again. Wreath a triumphant garland round my head. I'm to be married to a king. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Rosie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing my realistic after school routine. So it's actually been quite a long time since I filmed an after school routine. So I thought I'd do it today. Um, and a lot has changed already. So this week we are actually having a heat wave in England and it's hotter in England than it is in Florida, which is so cool. So everyone's getting a really good time, but we are all sweating. And it is actually my last week in year 10 this week. And then next week for the first two days, we have sports day, which is really fun. And it's meant to be 34 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but look it up because it is so hot. So we're all going to be boiling when we're running around. Um, but yeah, this is my last week of year 10 and this is my after school routine. I'm also so excited for the summer because I have so much content for you guys and I'm just going to have so much fun. So subscribe to my channel to see all of that and actually subscribe because I'm 30K away from 1 million subscribers, which is so crazy to think about because I've been on YouTube for 10 years now and I've been working at it to get a million. So join the family if you want to and click that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one and the ones in summer because as I said, um, actually no I didn't say but I am going to film my sports day which is going to be really funny because I'm actually doing tug of war so if I fall on my face you'll see that. Also stay tuned to the end because today I'm actually getting in the jacuzzi, obviously it's not going to be hot jacuzzi, it's going to be like a warm jacuzzi if you know what I mean. Right, I've just got in. So, obviously I woke up late this morning because I nearly missed my bus. I didn't, but I had to leave my room in such a state. It looks like someone's broken, just wrecked everything. And this is just a warning. I will be going up to my room. I do need to tidy it. Um, but mum says she's not gonna help me clean it anymore. So, warning. This is me and my lights are turned off, but then when I turn them back on. Just a bit, it's a tad messy. Look at my wardrobe, they're all left over. Sweet uniform, there's my bra. She's. So here's this. I was so hot last night that I actually just stripped off when I came in. Took my shoes off, just left them there. My Alexa is still on, playing Capital. And then in here, I have my bikini that I <laughs> wore in the jacuzzi yesterday morning, yesterday night, and I forgot to hang it up. And sun cream from this morning. That's my realistic bedroom, when you guys don't see it behind the camera. So obviously you're probably thinking, Rosie, this is a dump, we need to tidy up. I meant to put these clothes away last night, did you? I don't actually see the point of making my bed when I get home because I'm just going to get straight back in it. I put my fan on guys because it's absolutely boiling. Dirty washing down there. Dirty washing goes down there so when I walk downstairs I pick it up and put it in dirty wash. Okay, right, so my room is finally tidy. So happy with it. We've made my bed, done all this. I do need to put them shorts away because they're on the stairs, but I'll do them in a minute. 
but I need to get out of this school uniform. It is the most uncomfortable thing in the whole entire world and it makes me look like a rectangle. But um, I'm just gonna wear the same bikini that I wore yesterday because there's no, it's not really point in washing it. It's here. Like, I only got in the jacuzzi for like five minutes. So I'm gonna wear this um, with some shorts. So I will be back once I have changed. Okay, but I've changed into, I do have a top on by the way. I've changed into my bikini and I want to actually try and do two plaits in my hair because I haven't actually done that in ages and I feel like two plaits will be really good because it keeps it out of my way but then it also looks really cute and then just leave like little bits at the front you know what I mean right instead of um plaits I think I'm gonna do like bubbles you know what I don't know, really know how to explain it it's like Bubbles all the way down. Best way to check using an app. Oh, good enough. Can't be bothered to be honest. Okay, right. I haven't done this with like my shortish hair yet, but I'm just gonna we're gonna try. So I leave a bit out, and what I do is I grab a piece like this big brush it through make sure that's left out grab one of these hair bands and I tie that and this is quite good for people who can't do like French plaits and then I put it like that so it looks like this and then what I do is I get another piece like this with it still in it brush these two together or up like that and I tie it again and you'll probably understand and hopefully what I'm saying now and what I mean by bubbles <laughs> kind of understand and then another one and then I'm just gonna do that for the rest of my hair. Right, and now what I do, what I like to do personally is I just like to leave this bit down. Um, I'll probably tie that again with a bigger hairband, but that's what it looks like. Obviously it probably don't look the best because um, I actually haven't done it in ages. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I don't actually know what it looks like from the back. I'll show you in a minute. I take these to school all the time and they're just like little pots of hummus. They're so handy. I'm gonna put them in a bowl because otherwise I won't stop eating them and I'll end up eating the whole packet knowing me. How many? Oh, that's enough. What it is, it, everyone thinks it's not hot at all because there's clouds in the sky. You don't understand, at the moment it's like 30 degrees, but it's so humid that you don't need sun and I'd still get a tan in this. But it's perfect weather. But I'm now going to eat my food. Oh, I do need a drink, so let's get one from the bar. Not alcoholic. Just to clarify, this is my mum and dad's bar. I'm not drinking the alcohol. I am going to have, um, I was just catching up with Love Island and I've just seen that Jax has left the villa. I don't understand why though, so hopefully we'll find out tonight. So today was actually a really good day at school. I had three lessons, three hours of textiles, which was really good. I got to miss maths. Um, but then in one of my textiles classes, I actually got pulled out of lesson by like one of like the main 
um, year leaders. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've done something wrong. What, what's gone on? And she's like, I just want to talk to you about your career, Rosie. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. And so we were having this chat about it and about like what I'm going, if I'm going to carry on with like school until like college and stuff. And I was like, no, I'd rather do an apprenticeship. Um, I feel like it's easier for me and my filming and um, a lot for my singing as well. And she's like, okay, that's good. It's lovely and refreshing to talk to someone who actually knows what they want to do. I think it's time to get in the jacuzzi. It is cold because we've set it cold. Once you like when you're getting in it's freezing, but then once once you're underwater it's absolutely fine. Ugh. Um I'm not getting my hair wet today because sometimes the chlorine makes your hair go green and I'd rather not have green hair, especially when I've just got it dyed. So once it's faded out a bit more and I've washed it, then I'll get, go under, but not now. really good that's why I love the jacuzzi because it can go hot and um, hot and cold especially in the winter when it's raining we love to get in there because it's really cool trying to find a TikTok sound it's just so hard to find a good one that you either haven't done or that's a dance that's good for content um, yeah because mine's just random stuff keep on running back to you window up there, it's open. I'm gonna go up and look out, wait there. By the way, just to clarify, this is what I've had to do to get up here. Obviously, as most of you know, I do take textiles for GCSE, so I need to catch up on a lot of textiles work. I have some catching up to do as she's put in my book. But I just wanted to show you this. So today, I drew and I painted this butterfly, and this is meant to be the shape of a monarch butterfly. And um, these are the things that came out. And I basically just took this orange fabric here, and I cut it out into butterfly shapes. And then I put this under a hot press and it turned out like this and I just need to add the details onto it to make it look like this kind of butter no this butterfly here that's the butterfly that I was going for and then this is what it turned out like which I'm really happy I just need to add the white dots and then put hot glue on the back of it to make it stable so that is what I've got to do for my homework tonight and that will take me a good hour, hour and a half, but I'm now just cutting around the edges to make them one a bit frayed and then to get closer to the black. And this is only for my practice piece, so this isn't my real thing for the GCSE, I've got to do my real thing later, but then I'll just pull out the fray bits and then it will make it look all nice. I'm quickly going to have a shower and then get changed for acting, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, right, I'm in the car now, back in the car now, and we are on the way to acting. I didn't show you my outfit um, because we were rushing out the house and I had to have dinner, but I have this Miami top on. No. Malibu. I thought it said Miami. I can't read that good. It says Malibu. Um, and then I have my Nike leggings on 
my strawberry socks and my Ugg slippers. These are my favorite things in the world. Uggs, if you're watching this, sponsor me. I'll good use of your products. Um, these are also kid size. I got them for $40 on sale. Anyways, I did take my hair out. Um, it is a bit crimped, but that's kind of how I like it. I feel like it looks quite cute, quite quirky. Um, I'm gonna try and film an acting. I don't know what we're actually gonna do, but um, yeah, sick. So obviously I'm in acting at the moment and I am doing, obviously, drama GCSE. And in November, it is my drama GCSE practical exam and I have to make my own piece with a stimulus, which is about like, the um the power of like voices and it's about the abortion in america and then the suffragette movement and we're going to link them two together whereas like women's rights in the olden days were like not taken seriously and now they're taking women's rights away again so we haven't moved in like 100 years or so but um we're doing that in our toad style so Okay, so this is take three of me reading this. It's Greek theatre and I'm reading Cassandra from Trojan Woman. Mother, wreath a triumphant garland round my head. I'm to be married to a king. Rejoice at it. If you find me unwilling, take me, make me go. As sure as Apollo is a prophet, Agamemnon, this famous king, shall find me a more fatal bride than Helen. I shall kill him and destroy his house in vengeance for my brother's and my father's death. <laughs> Just got out of acting, guys. Going back home, but that is it for my realistic after school routine because there's nothing else that I do than go home, watch Love Island, and go to sleep. So, and you could, are probably missing Love Island now, so go and watch it. Um, <laughs> anyways, I love you all. Um, and I really hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give this video, video, video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe because I really want to hit a million and I just want you guys to join the family anyways. Um, I'm, near, I'm on the 30k away from hitting a million. So, if you guys want to subscribe, no pressure though. But if you do want to subscribe and join the family, then please do it. Um, also, click that notification bell so don't miss any of my videos just like this one. I'll probably be doing more realistic morning routines, especially when I'm in Spain, because obviously, as per usual in the summer, I am going to Spain. So I'll probably be doing a routine out there. Um, but yeah, I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye! Looking for a boyfriend. I, oh, oh, oh. Oh, and don't forget to follow my Instagram because I'm there every day, so. Oh, and by the way, check out some of my other videos here. And like I said, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget my new song, Safe In Your Love, is out now everywhere. Click the bottom left square to listen to it.